Hello, I am Aparva, Axway's API Specialist. If you are here with me today, you are most likely willing to learn how to deploy an API Builder project to the Axway API Runtime Service, or ARS. Great, that's exactly what I will help you achieve today. Let's look at what we will achieve today. We'll learn how to prepare the API Builder project for publishing to the ARS. Second, we'll learn how to actually publish to the Axway API Runtime Service, or ARS. Finally, we'll learn how to test our published API. Let's get started. Before we get started, please make sure that you have a tested and working API Builder project. Second, that you have the API Runtime Service command line interface installed on your machine. And last, you need to have a login account to the Axway platform. Recall from our last video that we took an API Builder project and we installed the MongoDB connector. So that's the project that I have running. And if I go to the, uh, I'm in the API Builder console, if I go to the API, um, and try to query or run one of these APIs, uh, I can verify that my project is working. And if I look in terminal, sure enough, as I'm making these calls, um, I can see the API Builder console logging here. So uh, that's one way to make sure that I have an API Builder project uh, tested and running on my machine. If we go to the Axway uh, online docs at docs.axway.com uh, and look for the API runtime services, um, you will actually see the command line interface reference, which explains how to install it. So I've installed it already. Um, and in fact, if I come over here and click ACS, you could see that it's installed and running. Uh, lastly, uh, to make sure that we've got a uh, login account, we can just go to the uh, Axway website, uh, www.axway.com, and if I look under Customers, uh, I can log into the platform. And if I don't have a login account, I can actually create one for free. So get started for free. So please make sure you've got those prerequisites um, set up and working. Okay, let's prepare our API Builder project. Okay, let's prepare our API Builder project. So I'm gonna to go to the online documentation and you could see um, the instructions here for deploying an API Builder standalone application to the ARS. And again, that would be under docs.axway.com and then go over to the API Builder documentation and under how to's, look for the uh, how to deploy an API Builder standalone application to the ARS. And besides the installation instructions, um, we, we have here is modifying the default configuration port for your application. So normally uh, in the default.js file under the com folder, there's an entry for uh, setting the port and you can set whatever you like. It's set to 8080 by default. And we need to change that to accept an environment variable or use 8080 if the environment variable is not found. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go over to my project folder. Uh, I'm gonna open the default.js file and there's the line for port 8080. And I will change that and save it. Um, the next thing that it tells you to do here is to create a Docker image for your application. So I'm going to copy this and I will go under terminal and I will paste that in. Uh, of course, I need to give a, an image name and I will call mine uh, API B for builder and M for MongoDB because that's the connector that's in this project. And that will run this API builder, that will create a Docker um, container image from this API builder project. And while that's running, uh, the next thing uh, it tells you to do is make sure that the image was created. So I'll run the Docker images command after this is done, just to make sure I've got that Docker image on my computer.
Okay, and if I run that, I can see API BM. So I've got a Docker image and I can now proceed. So now we're going to publish our project to ARS. Now, if I go to the, um, again, to the online documentation, docs.xway.com, and I look for the API runtime services, you'll see a reference for the command line interface, including how to install it. We talked about that earlier. Um, and then all the various different uh, commands. So the first thing I need to do is I need to actually log in. So I'm going to use ACS login. And that is my username. And that's my password. And I'm now logged in. The next thing I need to do is actually use the CLI to publish my Docker image. So the command is ACS publish, the name of my image, APIBM, uh, and then these options, delete all this, force, um, the name of the image, uh, and the app version. So I'm going to run that. And I'm going to say, yes, I want to continue publishing. Uh, the app doesn't exist yet. That's right, because it's new. And the I'm a member of multiple organizations, so I'm going to publish this to the Epsilon SE, which is number two. You'll probably be a member of one org, so you might not see that. And this will take a few minutes to publish, and several things will happen. Um, when this is finished publishing, um, I'll be able to check the status. And then at some point, I will also receive an email from Axway letting me know that my application was published. OK, so this finished. And what I want to do now, and I can see the base address of my project. So um, I can access my project from this URL. And I'll need this also for my APIs. But the next thing I want to do is I want to check the status of the publishing. So I'm going to use the ACS list and then my app name, which is APIBM. And I can check the status, and it is deploying. But again, I also get my URL here. So that's another way to get the uh, base address of my, um, of my API. So we'll give this a few minutes. Um, there's other useful information here, but we'll give this a few minutes. Uh, let me try again. Oh, so my project is now active. I should soon receive an email uh, letting me know that. So the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to check the logs of my API Builder application. So I'll do logcat API BM. Okay, so this happened sometime. Um, I'm getting an exception assigned port already in use. So what we need to do is set the port. So I will stop retrieving the logs, uh, and I will use an ACS config set port equals 8080. So this is setting the environment variable um, for the port to be 8080. And what will happen is it requires a restart. So let me say yes. And then again, we'll give this a few moments, and then we'll check the uh, logs again and see that it is actually running properly. We'll give this a few minutes to restart, and then we should see that the app is running properly on port 8080. All right, there we go. So my project is now successfully running on port 8080. So now let's go test our published APIs. So what I did was, remember when we were in the console um, and we had our documented APIs, this is when we were running locally, I did copy the curl command for, making, for doing the find all uh, of my dog um, collection. And it is using basic authentication. That's the default. So let me paste that in here. And now what I need to do is I need to change the base address here. And let me paste that in here. And at this point, I should be able to take this curl command and paste it into terminal. Oh, I don't need HTTPS. Let me fix that. And there is my data. So here is FIDO, 
and Pincher, etc. So our APIs are deployed in ARS, and I can test them from curl or Postman or build a mobile app in Titanium. So congratulations. Um, in this demo, we saw how to prepare an API builder project. Um, we also published the API builder project to the Axway API runtime service. And then finally, we tested our published APIs. Congratulations.